Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Robbins from NYU Langone Health, and we are here today to debunk some common misconceptions about sleep. Adults need five hours or less of sleep. Now this is actually a common misconception. We have extensive evidence to show that unfortunately sleeping five hours at night or less consistently increases your risk greatly for adverse health consequences, including cardiovascular disease and early mortality. So for this reason, we strongly recommend a sleep duration consistently of seven to eight hours at night for optimal health. Drinking alcohol before bed will help you fall asleep. Now, many believe that alcohol, a nightcap, is a good thing for sleep. It'll help you fall asleep and improve the quality of your sleep. But this actually is a myth. It may help you fall asleep, but it dramatically reduces the quality of your rest that night. It continues to pull you out of rapid eye movement and the deeper stages of sleep, causing you to wake up having maybe spent time sleeping, but not feeling restored. Watching TV in bed helps you relax before sleep. Unfortunately, television watching is not an optimal way to relax before bed. Often if we're watching the television, what's on our programs that are stressful? It's the nightly news, it's something that's gonna cause you to have some insomnia or stress right before bed when we're trying to power down and relax. These devices also emit bright blue light. And that blue light is what tells our brain to become alive and alert in the morning. Now what we wanna do is avoid blue light before bed from sources like a television or your smartphone and do things that relax you. When having difficulty falling asleep, it's best to stay in bed and try. Unfortunately, if we stay in bed, we'll start to associate our bed with insomnia. If you're lying in bed and trying and not succeeding, it's the same thing as going to the gym, standing on a treadmill and not doing anything. Trying to fall asleep is important, and it actually does take the healthy sleeper about 15 minutes to fall asleep. But much longer than that, make sure to get out of bed, change the environment, and do something that's mindless. Keep the lights low and fold socks. Hitting the snooze button is better than getting up right away. Unfortunately, when we wake up, all of us have a little bit of inertia. So realize that you will be a little bit groggy. All of us are. Resist the temptation to snooze because unfortunately your body will go back to sleep, but it will be very light, very low quality sleep. So make sure to start your day, get up and get outside into the blue light as fast as possible. Now we've covered a small section of the myths that are out there about our sleep at night. Sleep is one of the most important things that we can all do tonight to improve our health, our mood, our well-being, and our longevity. Sweet dreams!